hi there welcome to paddy maddy channel if you're visiting for the first time please do subscribe i'm gonna cover a lot of microsoft intune and azure training series including a ccm and the entire microsoft endpoint product uh, i'm gonna cover on that and this is the third lecture within this intune training series where in the past two sessions we have understand about microsoft endpoint manager and its products and uh, also Microsoft Intune capabilities and how we can benefit out of Microsoft Intune as a mobile device management as a solution or MAM as a solution or mobile application management as a solution. Now it's time for us to jump into the live demos and from, uh, from this session onwards we are going to work with more demos and uh, this would be a small uh, presentation along followed by a demo where we are going to cover about uh, how, what is the best way to learn microsoft intune and the learning path for microsoft intune followed by a lab creation how we can create a lab or what kind of things we need to have in our lab to you know practice more so let's begin let's try to understand the first part would be the getting an intune trial of course after getting intune trial you need to practice you need to work on few devices so what kind of devices that you might need to have on your uh, lab and this is just for your practice but if you're going to the production all these things will be already available but in case if you are trying to practice you need to have a windows 10 device followed by a android phone at least and also uh, it's good to have one apple device could be iphone or ipad or maybe a mac os device so these are the apple devices that we focus now let's try to understand the way of learning so we're gonna learn in a way uh, the first approach the entire course will focus on only cloud only meaning uh, the features that we discussed in the introduction maybe or in the past two sessions will be focused only on cloud only and these things can work with on windows 10 or android phone or apple devices just the cloud only environment followed by what i will do is the entire course i'll shift once we learn these blue boxes uh, from a cloud only uh, point of view then we would jump into on-prem with the cloud meaning we will end up with having a domain controller so that we can make our lab into azure hybrid ad join and also we will introduce our ssm server and we work on a core management and other advanced topics that are comes uh, from a SCC point of view so how the things is gonna work so first thing you need to have a windows device and also that from for windows device we can work on uh, cloud only and later point we can also go the same similar windows devices can be practiced uh, with on-prem and a cloud meaning at least you need to have these three devices in order to practice the same thing goes here any of the android phone you need uh, either from an apple devices point of view as i said you might need to have at least ipad or iphone or mac devices so that's how it's going to work and finally i just wanted to tell you here within this ppt we will have to have a trial license for that if you can you know visit this url or you can check out in the description this url and uh, then you can take the trial license let's try to reconsolidate what we have learned so far this lecture focuses on how to get the intune trial license and also in case if you're trying to practice on your lab then you might need to have these kind of you know devices in order to learn whatever if you don't have or uh, for at least for android there are some kind of you know, simulators but for apple devices there's no simulator so you can go through my videos or the documentation uh, in case if you don't have for the windows devices at least if you have a windows 10 device you can you know practice much more and and also on these three devices we are going to actually work with cloud only initially meaning i'll not be touching uh, the on-prem or uh, cloud 
combination or hybrid combination so we would just focus initially with only cloud only and later point we will move to on premises with cloud meaning you will introduce your domain controllers very similar in, in any company you might have your azure active directory or maybe active directory so the sync part with the hybrid uh, active directory environment along with the sccm and a couple of sccm clients will come up here and software distribution of patch management with a co-management uh, options that all will be tested uh, and will be discussed at the advanced level along with the windows autopilot all that uh, combination we are going to work so the autopilot also we would be discussing in a cloud only initially and we will move to hybrid and uh, we would try to deploy autopilot with uh, sccm and uh, also as a hybrid join uh, and also the remote autopilot in case if a user trying to build from his own uh, home or maybe in a remote location how we can join that pc to your on-premises active directory and also to azure ad all of that concepts also we would be advanced level concept that we'll be discussing within upcoming lectures so that being said let's jump into the quick demo on how to get a trial license for intune open your browser and search for ems enterprise mobility security e5 trial license or trial then you would come up with this web page which i have already included in the description as a as a link so you simply click on that link and this would take it to the enterprise license so as we talked in the past microsoft intune is part of all of these product suits or product licensing so it's it's covered intune license if you have any of these in the production so make sure that you check out your licensing in case if you have any of these catalogs or these products then it covers actually intune license but in our case we are trying to get the trial so i would go to the first link which i'm talking about here just say click on try and this would take me to a new page where i can enter my email id and get the trial license so this email id is not really needed your official email id in case if you're trying on your personally then you can give your email id and then followed by a phone number to verify and then uh, it actually creates a Azure AD tenant specific information. So let's begin with that. I just enter a test email ID that I have. And then since I don't have the email ID, I was never used this email ID with Microsoft services. It was asking me to enter all these details. Once I fill all these details, I can click on next. That would take me to a text verification or phone call verification on my number so in this case I'll just verify myself with that text message once I click on verify it will take you to the further process where we're going to talk about the Azure AD tenant Microsoft Azure AD tenant is nothing but your representation of your company or your organization so all the identities that you're going to create any of the user accounts or computer accounts or maybe service principles or whatever the web app specific configuration all that will reside inside your tenant and uh, the tenant will be hosted here for example if if i'm coming from let's say example a company called ibm so i might enter here ibm but in reality this ibm name should be a unique uh, because it's going to create ibm dot on microsoft.com so if i just click on somewhere else it, it says that this id is not available because somebody else has been taken ibm so if i just give maybe a test kind of thing like this it might be available because uh, this kind of you know random name nobody may not have so this is going to be my uh, lab specific so i would be entering here a name uh, which really represents like paddy maddy youtube um, so i'll just take this so you might have a question that uh in case if you have any question like you know the username how it actually represents like username at the rate paddy maddy 
uh, youtube.on microsoft.com it will be like that but yes you can customize this domain name to you know map to your custom domain let's say if it is ibm ibm may map this custom domain to their own company name and that is possible very well okay so i'll just click on next here and uh, it's going to create the first super account or we call it as a global admin account on this tenant or the account that has a full permission on your Intune or the account that has a full permission on your Azure AD tenant. So I'm going to give here a username called Paddy. So Paddy at I have to type in my browser if I want to log in Paddy at the rate Paddy Maddy YouTube or dot on Microsoft.com and a password that needs to be entered in order to know login once you enter the user ID and password you can simply sign up this will take it to the further process now it will actually pop up here saying that hey this is your username and we have sent a uh, confirmation email saying with this information to my email ID that's fine I got this an email saying that you know this is your email ID to log into your tenant that's what it says that's good so i'm going to actually click on manage my subscription and if you see here in this subscription i have one license is assigned and there are 250 licenses are available and it's going to expire after 90 days starting from now and this is the office 365 admin center uh, portal but if you want to log into into the portal and locate so you simply have to just go to endpoint.microsoft.com this would take it to microsoft endpoint manager admin center this is where you're gonna work with your tenant and also i wanted to show another portal which we frequently work which is portal.azure.com and uh, this is where it actually points to azure cloud and you see here i just logged in with the same user id and password since the user id and password is already authenticated it is pointing and within this if you just go here you have your azure active directory so what we have done as part of this actually free trial we try to take a tenant you see you have a manage tenants option so we just created this tenant okay you if you have already azure active directory and then you want to give a try with a free trial one more free trial you can simply create one more tenant but i just wanted to show you from a basic that's why uh, i have created a completely new one right so within this i can create any kind of user accounts let's say if i want to create a user account I can simply go here click on a new user and maybe i can create chris account so he's mr chris green and uh, it can generate the password or you can set it some kind of a you know, password uh, for example i want to set it some password in this case like this uh, and user's location is very important and this must be configured otherwise your sign in uh, or your licensing will not be applied uh, meaning you cannot assign a license uh, which would cause a problem uh, for logging also or it doesn't work so you must have to give for every user user's location this is mandatory and remaining uh, fields are optional so now we created a user account called chris at paddy uh, youtube dot on microsoft dot com so now if i want to log in as a chris how would i log in i can simply go to cognitive mode one more and portal dot azure or my apps dot microsoft.com or anything you know you simply have to take and use this similar user id so in this case i'll be using this user id which we just created and we will lock in so i need to change my password for the first attempt that's fine as a chris now a user is able to log in so this is how it's going to work for user login similarly if you want to create a multiple groups you can create from here a group from all groups click on new group so i can give here all engine users group and simply you can give the description and this specific uh, thing will be useful for uh, azure ad privilege identity management
right with the we are not going to talk on this at this point of time and now i'll simply create that's it the group has been created and how can you assign licenses coming back to the license assignment it's recommended that always you to assign license to ad groups how would i assign a license to ad group simply click on ad group and go to licenses assignments and click on enterprise mobility plus security e5 in this if you see here this suit contains different licenses like it it covers azure ad p1 and p2 and multi-factor specific and also in tune here so we need to have this license in order to work with intune so microsoft intune license is there and simply save it that way the group has no license so let's say if i want to add any user to this group i'll simply go to members and i can add here i can search for the chris user and simply so chris this is chris green simply select that user and the user is added meaning this user will have a license let's say if i just click on that user and go back to my licenses uh, after maybe a few minutes it would actually come up here as license has been assigned as inheritance okay that's how it's going to come up after a quick refresh we can see that this license has been assigned and we can't change it because this has been coming from all into users license or all into users uh, as the inherited from a different group so that's how it's going to work for uh, licensing and that's how it's going to assign the licensing point this concludes this small lecture on how to get the trial and coming back to the lab setup as i explained these are the machines that you need to have in case if you want to practice so in my case i have all of these devices so i would be using these devices uh, and i would be you know showing you how i'm going to test it for the enrollment or maybe retiring or wiping the data or pushing some kind of applications all of that com or all of that test cases we are going to test it with microsoft intune and uh, please do subscribe to my channel we'll catch you in the next lecture thank you